Hey guys, how are you this morning? Uh, I'm doing pretty good. I'm actually sitting on the floor this morning because I have um, Charlie with me. And Charlie's just hanging out and Bowie's over here and he's ready for some stories. So I'm gonna be reading a story today to the dogs. And today's story is called The Thing About Spring. Now what's kind of fun is we're just coming out of winter and if you remember, winter was a little cold. We get rain, not so much in Las Vegas, but other places get a lot of snow. So the cool thing about spring is all of that snow disappears and all that cold weather is supposed to go away, okay? So as I read this story, I want you to listen for all the great things about spring. And I want you to watch how our main character here, Rabbit, how he changes from the beginning of the story to the end of the story. Okay, Charlie, you think you're gonna like this book? Well, let's see if the dogs like this book, okay? All right, here we go. The Thing About Spring by Daniel Kirk. The world looks a little different today, Mouse said one bright morning. It smells different too, said Bird. There are buds on the trees and new colors in the sky, and I feel warm and happy. Me too, said Mouse. Spring is finally here. Hooray! Mouse and Bird hurried to share the good news with their friends. Rabbit was in the meadow. He was busy with a shovel and a pail. Hey, what are you doing, Rabbit? Mouse called to him. Saving snow while I still can. Rabbit grumbled. We won't see any more of this until next year. But spring is coming, Bird chirped. Aren't you excited? Now, based on what we see here, does Rabbit look really excited about spring? Excited, said Rabbit. Huh. The thing about spring is that I won't be able to follow my friend's tracks in the snow. Then I won't be able to find them. But now you won't be cold, said Bird, and you won't have to look for me. I'll be right beside you. Me too, said Mouse. He still doesn't look pretty excited. He still looks a little worried to me. The thing about spring, said Rabbit, is that I won't be able to make snow bunnies anymore. And I won't be able to build snow forts either. You know how much fun I have doing that. And I won't be able to make snowballs to throw at my favorite targets. But little shoots will grow out of the ground, Mouse said, so you won't have to look to find delicious things to eat. So it seems like every time Rabbit says something negative, his friends are there to say something positive. The thing about spring, said Rabbit, is that Bear is waking up and you know how bad he smells after a long winter. And I'm sure he's going to want a big hug. Oh, rabbit, said Bear with a yawn. Just because I'm a little stinky doesn't mean we can't share a big hug. I want a hug too, said Bear. Or I'm sorry, said Bird. Me three, said Mouse. So again, he's all like, no, and they're all happy. I wonder what it's gonna take to make the rabbit happy. The thing about spring, said Rabbit, is, a, is that it rains when you're not expecting it. But rain brings out the flowers, said Mouse. And the worm, said Bird. And it makes you clean, said Bear. Are you ready for more hugs? And the thing about spring, said Rabbit, is that when the days get longer, 
The nights get shorter and I am a cranky bunny when I don't get enough sleep. But in the spring, we need more daytime because there is so many things to do, said Bear. And in the spring, I love to make, where are you going, Charlie? I love to make loop-de-loops and race the clouds through the sky, said Bird. And in the spring, I love to make, I love to nibble tasty buds and dig tunnels in the soft pine needles, said Mouse. And in the spring, I love to splash in the lake and dance in the sun, said Bear. Spring is wonderful. And the thing about spring, said Rabbit, is that all the animals chatter on and on, and all that racket hurts my ears. Um, I'll try to be more quiet, whispered the bird. Me too, whispered the mouse. Me three, whispered the bear. But it's hard to make little noise. When spring is here. All right, sighed the rabbit. I suppose no one can stop the seasons from changing. But the thing about spring is that when I stomp around so much and the sun is so warm, it makes me really thirsty. Hmm. Me too, said Bear. I think we're all a little thirsty. Well then, said Rabbit, you should be glad that I saved some snow. Look inside my pail. The thing about spring is that it is full of surprises. Now what do you think might be inside that pail? It's wonderful, bird chirped. Now that spring is here, the sun has turned, the sun has turned, I'm sorry, the snow has turned to water. It's like the winter gave us a present before it went away, said Mouse. And I found some cups, Rabbit said. Dip in, it will be our last taste of winter, said Bird. I'm sorry, in our first taste of spring, said Bird. Here's to spring, said Bear. I think it's going to be great. Me too, said the bird. Me three, said the mouse. And all the friends looked at Rabbit. I wonder what Rabbit is thinking right now. Oh, all right, said Rabbit. Me four. Spring is here. Hooray. And that's the end. So how did this, in the story, how did the rabbit change from the beginning to the story to the end of the story? And what do you think made him change, made him have that change in the story? Do you think anything specific happened? Um, also, did anybody make any connections to the story? Any text to text? or text to self connections. Um, and how do you feel about spring? Do you like spring? Is it one of your favorite seasons? Do you like a different season better? Uh, and why, okay? Um, talk about these questions with mom and dad, our aunt, uncle, brother, sister, whoever um, you read the story with, and write your answers down or um, send me a picture of them and stay tuned for our next story. Have a good one, guys.